a very good morning to all today we are moving to a new chapter chapter number 10 and the name of the chapter is the earth and other planets so first of all let me ask you so in which planet we all live we all live on planet earth right so the earth is made up of land water and air so what is very special about earth earth is the only planet where life is possible earth is the only planet where the life is possible so there are two types of movements of earth that is rotation and revolution so the two movements of earth the two types of movements of earth are rotation and revolution so in this class we are going to discuss about rotation of the earth so here you can see two different pictures so the first picture it's a day what about the next picture it is night so in a day we can see the sun you can see the bright sky right then what about night can we see the sun no there is no sun but we have moon stars it looks darker right the sky looks darker so it is night so what is the difference between day and night so have you ever thought what causes day and night so half of the time we can see the sun the sun gives us light and heat and half of the time it is darker it is night so what is the difference between day and night or what causes day and night so that is because of the rotation of the earth that is because of the rotation of the earth so our earth is rotating all the time it does not remain the same in its place or we can say it is not stationary the earth is rotating all the time so here you can see a picture so when the earth rotates it is not exactly upright so upright means not straight it is not exactly straight it is slightly tilted so in, in this picture itself we can see the earth is slightly tilted it is not upright it is not exactly upright it is slightly tilted and when you closely observe this picture you can see an imaginary line which is passing from the north pole to the south pole so north pole is the northernmost point of the earth lying opposite south pole so this imaginary line that is passing from north pole to south pole that is the axis and the earth rotates along its axis so the movement of the earth along its axis we call it as rotation so what is rotation of the earth the movement of the earth along its axis we call it as rotation of the earth so do you know the earth takes one day or 24 hours to complete one rotation one day means 24 hours so the earth takes one day to complete one rotation so you all know what is rotation the movement of the earth along its axis we call it as rotation of the earth day and night happens because earth is rotating so let's see how the rotation of the earth help us to know day and night so here you can see a picture in this picture if you closely observe you can see the half part of the earth is facing the sunlight and the half part of the earth the opposite part is not facing the sunlight so the part that is facing the sunlight will have day 
So we can say the part that receives sunlight will have day and the part that does not receive sunlight will have night. So I'll explain you once more. You can see this picture. In this picture, half part of the earth is receiving sunlight. So that part will have day and the part of the earth that does not receive sunlight will have night. So let me give you some more explanation. So when the region that we live in receives sunlight or the region that we live in faces the sun, then we'll have day. Okay, then we know that the earth is rotating. So as the earth rotates, we move away from the sun. So in the evening, the sun set, it becomes darker and we have night. Then what happens after few hours? After few hours, due to the rotation of the earth, the part of the earth that has moved away from the sun will move towards the sun. Then the sun appears to rise and then we have morning. So this causes day and night. So the rotation of the earth causes day and night. So the earth rotates from west to east. So where the sun rises? Sun rises in the east and it sets in west. Now let's discuss about the shadow at different times of the day. So here you can see a picture. So let's discuss about the shadow of the tree. Where is the shadow of the tree in the early morning? So the same picture is there in your textbook, page number 116. So where is the sunrise? Sun rises in the east. So you can see the tree and where is the shadow? The shadow is pointed towards the west. So the sun rises in the east and the shadow is pointed towards west. Then at noon, where is the position of the sun? Sun is above our head. So where is the shadow? You can see the tree here. So where is the shadow of the tree? It is directly below. Then we have evening. Sun sets in the evening. So the shadow is pointed towards west. So these are the shadows at different times of the day. In page number 116, you have an activity. There are two activities given to prove that the earth is rotating. So you can try doing these two activities and you can observe it and write down your findings in your notebook. So in this class, we started with earth and we learned about the movements of the earth, rotation and revolution. And in that we learned about rotation of the earth. So what is rotation of the earth? The movement of the earth along its axis. We call it as rotation of the earth. The rotation of the earth causes day and night. So that's all for today. And let's meet in the next class and discuss the next movement of the earth. Till then, thank you.